click OK. Now, remember I said um, if I wanted to put the uh, labels for the edges on, that's just too big. It just makes it uh, unusable. Here is how you get over that. So I'll just turn that off for a second. Right at the very um, right-hand corner, there's a little uh, icon that uh, expands the properties of this uh, toolbar. So if I click on that, what you can see is three options, global, edges, uh, and labels. So the, the stick, we'll start with the, um, the, the global first of all. Global uh, background, very similar to uh, the light bulb here, but I could actually change it from rather black to white to um, a totally different color. So if I say uh, red and click OK, it, oh, what was that? it puts the, the background as a, as a red color. Let's put that uh, back to zero okay now the uh, auto select neighbor what that means is that uh, when I hover next to uh, a node it gives me its neighbors now if I uncheck that if I hover on that it although it puts the um, the edges in it doesn't highlight the neighbors um, as we saw uh, earlier on I'll just uh, do that again hover over the, the neighbors appear that neighbor appears no neighbors, there are the neighbors. So it's always good to have that on. Uh, then you can zoom in and zoom out. This is very much like the scroll uh, that we did uh, earlier on with our, our mouse, but you could do it within here. Okay, let's move on to the edges. Now we see the edges um, uh, here, the edge options. So uh, I could do show or, or not, so it's very similar to this. I take that off, I put it on. You can see that uh, same thing happens. Uh, the default color. Now, remember when we were on this uh, particular tool, uh, I can go to the same color as the node or the default color. Now I can change that default color here. So uh, let me put it uh, as red. There you go, the default color's gone there. I'm gonna put it back to uh, where it was, sort of a gray color. And there you go. Uh, use the node color, which is uh, the toggle between this. So if I click on that, it goes to black, if I take it off. Uh, the scale, you can see that exactly the same here. This is a this is an interesting one that um, uh, I would advocate uh, using as well is the different colors of the um, the directions in uh, in is blue out is red and both is yellow so that will be an undirected uh, option so we won't have any there so if I click on that you can see uh, in to eight is from seven uh, out from eight. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, going to one, nine, two, and five and four. So that's a, a good one to, to have. We then have uh, labels. So the node option here, very similar to this option. I've got the label in there. I can turn it on or turn it off. So the, the labels have gone. I can change the font size. I can change the uh, the font type, and then I can change the uh, actual color within here. So if I move from that to, let's say, let's give it a, a bright, uh, brightish yellow, say up here. Okay. What you can see now that font has changed. We have the same option with the edges. So if we put the label of the edges here. Now remember I said there wasn't a facility to change the font size. Well, this is where you find it. See the size here? I can now reduce that. Makes it a little bit easier to read. Although uh, you do wonder why uh, it's um, out of sync here. You can change the font uh, style and font size in here. And then you can change the color as well. So let's, let's make that uh, blue. And this is the, the, the default color. 
for the the, the font so i can change that uh, within here um size is fixed color uh, is text and this relates to these two items here because you, you remember i've got scale node not scale i'm going to come back to to that again a little bit later on uh, but here is a good option which um, you could use so if you click on that what happens is that it hides the labels but when you hover over one the uh, information comes up so when you've got lots of data and the the, the labels are um, a little bit distracting you could use this to to get the the information that you need you can configure the uh, data as well by saying right what do I want as we, we highlighted earlier on so I'm actually gonna uncheck that uh, and take off the um, uh, the label edges uh, and then shut that down so we've seen uh, how we get to this point so what I'm going to do now is just uh, save the file file save so if I need to to go back uh, after any changes which I don't like I can so now um, we've covered the whole of this um, toolbar at the bottom here I'm going to go to the appearance window in the top left hand corner what I usually do is start with the, um, uh, the the nodes and look at the node size so if I click on that and this will vary uh, according to the, um, the computer that you're using I'm gonna move it to 25 and then apply and what you can see is that the um, the node size has increased I'm just going to scroll out a bit and go to expand and that's a, a better size for me so the, the node size has increased. I'm going to go back and change the size of the font of the label so that they're, they're in there. That actually makes it um, a little bit easier to, to read. Uh, you also have the option of, uh, if I go to the color palette now, so this changes the color of the node, and change the unique um, set color for all the nodes I can I'm gonna make it uh, a very white uh, light shade okay then then apply so I've got uh, the nodes appearing almost as circles uh, and now because it's yellow in there um, I don't really want that what we've uh, what we've just done if I, if I just go into here uh, the color option I have for my uh, node text is So I've, I've created the color of my text in using this label color tool at the top here. When we were uh, down here looking at the color options, I've got the options of the text tool, which is related to here. I've got the color option for the object. So it disappears because it's the same color as the uh, the background. So if, as I just hover, hover over, you can see just about the um, uh, the, the color in the, in the back or I can use unique which is the yellow color here it, it, to me this is a little bit confusing and um, I don't really see the, um, the the option of needing these three uh, facilities for the, um, the the graph I prefer to leave it maybe just as the text but um, just for completeness I'm trying to show you what you can and can't do with the uh, options and then in here you can do the, uh, the the text size as well so I'll increase it to 1.5 so it goes a little bit bigger and then when I go to here it's fixed uh, node size scaled fixed so slightly different to the uh, the, the earlier version but um, 
uh, uh, what I mean by that is the color where where the color related to this bit, but this one here didn't. 